Hey Tappers! Today I want to talk to you about the dire importance of permission when doing an EFT session. And I'm not talking about permission from the client to the facilitator, although that's very important as well. What I mean is the client themselves giving themselves permission. Let me explain. One thing that we say about clinical EFT is that it is client-led. Well, what does that mean? Particularly if someone doesn't know EFT, how can they lead the session? What the end goal is, is to shift something that's in the client's mind, correct? Generally, whatever is being shifted, the person was in a state of overwhelm where they felt unempowered, they felt like they didn't have control of the situation, and that someone else took their power. As we go to unwind this, we're wanting the brain to step out of survival mode. If the client is feeling any amount of pressure that's against their will, guess what the brain's gonna be triggered to do? It's gonna jump into survival mode. Therefore, you're not likely to get very far, if anywhere at all. So as this session is going, if you are doing EFT as the client, especially if you're doing it on your own, it's really important that you don't push yourself. EFT never has any spot where you can get stuck doing this, by the way, because if you start tapping and you feel like, I don't wanna tap on this, you don't have to go, oh, well, great, now I can't tap on it, not so. You can simply switch to, oh, I actually don't feel like tapping on this right now, and you know what? That's okay, I'm gonna allow myself to not tap on this right now. In fact, I'm not gonna tap on it ever if I don't want to. I am happy to allow myself to sweep this under the rug for my entire life, uh, for five lifetimes, and never address it. It can just hang out in my karma, I don't care. And what that's doing is not accepting denial, but rather allowing yourself to be empowered and acknowledging the way that you currently feel. Very often, when those feelings are acknowledged and empowered, then they're okay being shifted. And it's like, oh yeah, okay, I got what I wanted. You know what, actually? Let's talk about it a little bit. And then you can start to make forward progress. But if you push against what's there, generally you'll see frustration, uh, numbers won't be dropping, and you yourself aren't gonna really want to continue. When you are looking to receive permission, again, from yourself, it is important that you get direct permission. Not just implied, like, well, I'm tapping, so obviously I have permission to do this. And it may feel silly the first time you do it. That's totally fine, feel silly. But do say to yourself, I acknowledge that this is something that I would like to do, and I give myself permission to do it. I also give myself permission to stop anytime I want to. And I give myself permission to change my mind. If I decide I want to tap on it and then I decide I don't, that's perfectly fine as well. And if I feel frustrated about that, I give myself permission to feel frustrated about it. I'm still gonna stop, might still feel frustrated. All of that's perfectly fine. And what you're doing in this, Tappers, is you're giving yourself that empowerment back. A lot of times when we have trauma over something, we were not allowed to have our own way with whatever happened, and we were also not allowed to have the feelings that we needed to feel about it. You're giving that back to yourself and whatever increments is available to you. What we're doing with this tappers is we're giving yourself back that empowerment, that governing control that you deserve to have over yourself from the very beginning of this experience. Start with that with permission, with empowerment, with respect, with governing control, and you'll see a lot of success and movement in your EFT sessions. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you soon.